Hey, I'm Ruby Rose, and this is the playlist of my life. To my life? Of my life. Of my life. So nothing compares to you, Sinead O'Connor. That was my mum and my song. She would sing it to me, she would sing it to me to help me go to sleep. I would sing it to her to annoy her. We would just sit there and the lyric about having dinner in a fancy restaurant. I can eat my dinner in a fancy restaurant. My mum and I never went to a fancy restaurant, <laughs> but it was just, that was it. It was the simplicity of having each other was more important than anything else in the world because nothing compares to you. Also one of the greatest songs ever written. Thanks Prince. <laughs> Uh, Madonna, Like a Prayer, this is my karaoke song. This is also one of the ways that I discovered Madonna, fell in love with her, her fashion, everything she did was outrageous. She just pushed boundaries, she pushed boundaries in, in Like a Prayer and Justify My Love. It was a big part of my life listening to all of her music. When you call my name, it's like a little prayer. I think how many random career town karaoke venues I've been in, belting that out like I am Madonna. Sweet child of mine. Guns N' Roses. I used to host MTV and, and interview lots of different people in the public eye and rock stars and musicians and rappers. The only time I got starstruck was meeting Slash. I actually, the first thing I said to him was, I think I'm gonna vomit on your lap. And it was all uphill from there, thank God. Sweet Child of Mine is also the song that I've finished every single DJ set for the last 12 years. I play this when I'm like playing air guitar. People know I'm terrible at air guitar. I'm doing it now. Why am I still, why am I doing this? I want people to see how bad it is. <laughs> I haven't been able to replace the song because there is not a better song to do that to yet. <laughs> Smells like teen spirit, Nirvana. This summed up my angst, it summed up like the chords, the guitar, the riff, everything just made me feel something. <laughs> I've been mean, literally just deciding not to wash my hair not to probably even shower, to wear the same t-shirt every day and just like, it was like every year. It was like, it just never stopped being this song for me. Hero, Mariah Carey. I am still to this day, Mariah Carey's biggest fan. When I was getting bullied in school, when I was having a tough time, when I was finding myself, this song just, it meant so much to me. I even convinced my church to let me sing it in church. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside your way. She once tweeted me on Christmas and said Merry Christmas. If that isn't the Christmas goal, I don't know what is. Hi, Mariah. Don't let me get me pink. When I was young, there weren't many musicians or artists that were female that embodied what pink does. I had my Nirvana and my Silverchair and Metallica and Guns N' Roses, but I wanted a female version. And there was Joan Jett and there was obviously amazing, you know, blondie, fantastic musicians. But when pink came through, I just, was enamored. I mean, does any teenager not even just hear that? Don't let me get me and go, huh, I get it. Don't let me get me, no, I'm my own worst enemy. So I've seen her at least 18, honestly 17, 18 times. She has been massive in Australia since forever and it took America way too long to get on board. You guys slept on pink, so now she's an honorary Australian. <laughs> Zombie is one of the most iconic songs. Dolores has one of the most iconic, unique voices. That band had amazing messages that they were portraying in their, in their songs. It wasn't just a rock group to be a rock group. In Zombie is an incredible example. The fact they can talk about children and tanks and guns and violence. With their tanks and their bombs and their bombs and their guns. But in a song that makes you want to sing it, but it also makes you think twice. <laughs> Mean by Taylor Swift. There's a lot of songs that I love of hers, but this song was the song, like my internal dialogue. When people weren't nice to me or I had a bad breakup or kids weren't being nice, I just literally would walk around being like, all you're gonna be is mean, and you're gonna be mean, and you're gonna be mean, and you're all gonna be mean. And all you're ever gonna be is mean. Why you gotta be so mean? And I just totally vibed like that. This is my vibe, that's my jam. Thank you guys so much. So this is the playlist of my life. I feel like it says, this is a playlist of a kid that had an awesome single mom that was totally rock and roll, had a slightly traumatic, angsty teen experience, went to church choir. I feel like that's kind of through and through. And then decided that people are just mean by Taylor Swift.